Hello everyone, Steve here and welcome to Atomic Heart. This is going to be the next playthrough on the channel. I'm also going to be experimenting with a high resolution, so I'll be uploading this in 1440p, 60 frames per second, otherwise known as a 2K60. And um, I had no plan on bringing this game to the channel, but um, I watched a channel, well not a channel, I, I watched a trailer recently and I thought it looked pretty interesting. So I had this installing overnight and decided I'm going to play it. So this may or may not make it to YouTube, but depending on how it goes and if I like it, then yeah, then welcome. Sorry, there hasn't been much <clears throat> content from me lately. Um, work and life has just been taking over all my time. So I just have, really haven't had a chance to, to make any videos. So I've got a couple of days off now, so yeah i'm gonna use as much of this time as i can to to try and get this game done and bring it to you guys so yeah anyway enough babbling let's get to it so let's have a look here let's change music for stream mode um <clears throat> no if I get too many copyright claims, then I will change it to streamer mode, but I should be okay for now. Uh, subtitles, motion blur, why is this still an option in games? It shouldn't be. Yeah, no, looks okay. All right, let's go. Peaceful Atom, that's easy. Local Failure, that's medium. And Armageddon, that's hard. We're going to do it on Peaceful Atom. Because, why the hell not? I don't want to be spending all my time editing and shit like that, so. I really love this place. Ooh. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> okay, I saw that and that's pretty cool. Subtitles are actually integrated, like integrated UI, like you see in Dead Space. So yeah, I know absolutely nothing about this game. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going into this completely blind. All I've seen on this is a trailer and some Twitter posts, but I've, I've, I've pretty much kept away from it. I just haven't had the time to look to uh, look too much into it. So I have absolutely no clue about what's going to happen, what's going on, about the story, anything like that. So um, I have been told that this boasts of the best looting system out of any game. I, of course, remain sceptical of that. Because anyone that likes to brag about something being better than something else, it doesn't usually pan out so well. But anyway, let's go. Looting the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Mm -hmm. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, sure, thanks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bud. Here, bud. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. <clears throat> okay, digging the look so far. What's up 
with your Vovas bots, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is balked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Now, if I end up in a world run by robots and machines, I would happily take myself out of it because this is just fucking scary to me. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't this have any really questions. This is a really bad idea. For once. You dickhead. Yeah, I'm gonna take the gut off a boat. There you go, sport. All right. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the director. Get over here. Look at that. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. All right, so are there collectibles in this game? Let's have a look. Uh, I'm looking at achievements. Kill Heji without making a single shot, destroy all statues. Oh, okay. Collect all weapons. Collect 100 jelly. Okay, so I'm guessing these are actually some form of collectible. Okay, all right. Get your thought device today. Get connected. To uh, why is right thumbstick crouch? It should be B. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Hmm. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Oh, I'm not really interested in this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick.
No, I could talk to these guys, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I'm at the point in life now where I'm at that age where all I care about is gameplay. I don't give a shit about story or lore. Just having a look around. Why well, those are some very trusting pigeons. So I'll turn motion blur off and it still feels like I've got it on. It's off. Camera shake. I don't want any camera shake. Why have I still got motion blur? I cannot wait for the day where motion blur is no longer a default function in the game. It should be removed completely. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And However, I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I don't think this peace and harmony is going to last long. Don't mind me, just looking around for potential collectibles. I don't even know there are any in this first area, but whatever. Hmm, I've noticed the cotton jump. Slow down, son. Slow down. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I wouldn't go for a swim. What the fuck is that? Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of the solar system all have artificial atmospheres capable of supporting human life. Yeah, that's great. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? I expect it's gonna hold RB and RB. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um... How the hell can I use RB and RB? What the fuck? So there's no controller layout or anything like that? No? Wow, great game. <laughs> Has this game seriously bogged out already? I mean, you saw it on the screen. RB and RB. Demon be gone. Oh, okay, okay. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you... Okay, so that is a really dumb mechanic. I have to ver very quickly a double tap RB. Why can't it be RB and another, and another button? Yeah, I, I don't have very high hopes for this game at all. Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. That ain't great. now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now... Please continue with your mission. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Comrades. That's the dumb. By the Director General Not a fan of that whatsoever. Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 38. Yeah, can we get to shooting people or what? This is kind of boring. The greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step Report away. Report to the lobby of that high rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting for you. That will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. 
So you're um, praising the Soviet Thanks Union. All right, cool. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting for you. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I mean, it is a nice looking room, I'm not gonna lie. This floor is pretty fucking cool. Man, I want, I want this floor in my house. Oh, it's an automatic lift, all right, cool. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Ugh, oh, framed it there. Academic subjects with breathtaking speed, accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your... World's most powerful console, by the way. You will no it's been nothing but a fucking letdown. ...cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. Yeah, if I keep seeing these frame drops, I might swap, I might swap over to PC. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? I'm having impure thoughts. Let's, let's go. Come on. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Okay, so, so I'm all for prologues and things like that, but when it takes this long, mm, I want to shoot. I want to shoot stuff.
Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. So I'm gonna be mounted by a flying robot. Okay, right, cool. This is. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? <clears throat> the entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from one of them. I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. By the way, this game is brought to you by the same people who uh, made a Bioshock. In case you I can't tell by the, the city. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design so Department we need that now. and a personal project of Dr. Suspended rails. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Everything Amazon wishes it was. <laughs> Sorry.
Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Yeah, that's still fascinating though, but when do I get my gun? We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Ugh. Is so basically they're trying to do what Wolfenstein did. Watch out! What am I supposed to do? Instead of the Germans winning the Soviets one. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate. This is all facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Damn. <clears throat> Well, that went south pretty quickly, didn't it? Yeah, that was a prologue. Okay, cool. Can I pause? Yeah, I can pause. So, I'm going to call that one there. That was the prologue. Um, I'm gonna play a few more. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll record a few more videos and see how we go. Um, so that will determine whether or not I do actually upload this to YouTube. But um, if it does, I hope you enjoyed. I thank you all very much for watching, and of course, until next time, take care. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.